Life is hard, so why do we continuously make it harder for ourselves? Sometimes the way we do things just isn't working out, and with a little push in the right direction, we can make things much easier on ourselves. The little things add up. Trust me, they do. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the most amazing top five. My name is Michael McCrudden. Be sure to sit back, hit subscribe, and let me entertain you. Before we begin, I want to know what's the cleverest life hack you've ever used? Sound off, you know where. Let's jump into our list with the top five things you've been doing wrong all along. Wow, that title rhymed. First up in the number five spot, we have throwing low ink cartridges away. Ink is expensive. It's almost cheaper to buy a new printer every time you run out of ink. I hate it, it's such a scam. But cartridges may be lying to you when they say they need to be replaced. Next time, look to see if your ink cartridge has a tiny hole above the circuit board part. If it does, insert the end of a paper clip and press down to reset the cartridge's memory. This should give you quite a few more prints. So now you can go back to printing those pictures your friend asked for. Or a love letter. No one sends me any of those. Hmm. Moving on to the number four spot is cooking with pots. This is a two in one life tip that you've been missing out on your whole cooking life. Have you ever wondered why pots have holes in them? It's not for tying them to the ceiling. It's so that you have a place to put your cooking spoon when it's not in use. Additionally, if you're boiling water, you can place the spoon over the top of the pot to prevent water from boiling over. Now mom can't yell at you for messing up the stove top. She can yell at you for your crappy cooking though. Maybe that's why I don't get any love letters, I suck. Moving on to the number three spot, we have eating bananas. Instead of peeling your bananas from the top where the large nub is, peel it from the bottom instead. You might feel weird about this, but this is how monkeys do it in nature, and for good reason. It serves two purposes. You get rid of those annoying fiber strings, and you don't risk smushing the top of your banana. That's when you waste a quarter of it with your aggressive pulling and bending. No one likes a squash banana, it's gross at that point. Next up at number two is microwaving your food. The worst thing is watching your leftover lasagna rotating in the microwave for four minutes and then taking it out in the middle is still cold. But the edges, they're burnt. What are you gonna do? You can never win in life. Now your break's all over and your food sucks. So you eat it anyway and you're kinda disappointed for the rest of the day. But there is a way to solve this issue. Simply take your fork and dig a hole right into the middle of what you're heating up. This will help the heat spread evenly and get you that lasagna quicker. Or whatever the hell you're heating up. Finally, in the number one spot, we have pooping. Yeah, even babies are doing this one wrong. Everyone thinks that sitting and shitting is the way to go, but the best way for your bowels to find their way out is to poop in a squat position with your knees up. This straightens out the intestine and makes things go a whole lot smoother, like cooking up a sundae. If you're having trouble, invest in a squatty potty and get ready for the best poop of your life. Or just go outside and do it, it'd be great. So there you have it, the top five things you've been doing wrong all along. My name is Michael McCrudden and that title rhymes. We make all sorts of top fives here for you on this channel. Be sure to browse around, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video.